Welcome to the Bougie Black Brother Network. Welcome back to Rethink Politics, where we jump back into the issues with tariffs and the weak Democratic Party. And who's going to help us? So one of my other problems uh, that I, we definitely get to talk about is the tariffs. Uh, because there's a something came out. I'm not sure if you saw it, but Trump is trying to get... Uh, I think it's one point something billion or maybe it's a couple of billion to help out the farmers yeah. because of the tariffs. 12, 12 billion. billion fucking dollars because of some shit that he started. So mm-hmm. what he's doing is I want to save out. my boat. Yeah, it's a bailout. Farmer bailout. Mm-hmm. Even though I started it, I still need for you to vote for me because I'm giving you money temporarily but in the meantime, I'm going to do some negotiation and we'll be back on track. And they believe that shit. Yeah. They Which do. is, once again, <laughs> you the know same what? thing we've been saying every week. Go yeah. ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. That's So that's what it, I've been listening to a few podcasts, a few interviews they do with some farmers. But um, basically, yeah, they, they still believe in Trump. Or at least they're they're like on the, on the, the kind of holding out, like the verdict is still out on whether or not they agree with the, the tariff. The verdict, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, they, they don't they don't know what the outcome's going to be, but they, they like everything else he, else he says. But then it's the tariff thing. They're kind of like, I don't like that, but I mean, we'll trust you. Know you. Money. you know, That's what they're saying. But you know what? That's very fair because... At the end of the day, until someone starts fucking with your money, you're like, eh. Yep. You know, there's a lot of things Jimmy and I give a fuck about, but until yep. it starts in that pocketbook, you know, bank yeah. account, okay, we gotta, yeah. we gotta start taking this shit more seriously. You know People get saying? funny with their money, man. You, yeah. you know, once you yeah. start fucking with your money, then it's like, nah, I don't fuck so with you. So you know what? Sexual assault, eh, doesn't impact my bank account. Yep. Hating or niggas, hating Mexicans. It's, not in, eh. it's not in my, eh, I don't have women working in my department. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about yep. it. Mexicans, I don't see them unless I go to Home Depot. That's what I'm saying. I ain't got no problem with them. So all that other shit, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter doesn't fuck with my bank account. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nailing does. A, yeah, and I don't have Nailing. a Twitter account, so I don't <laughs> give a fuck. You know. So yeah. to your point, that and that's and that's where people don't do anything. Like, take Cheney. Cheney was against gay <laughs> marriage until his daughter showed up fucking gay like a motherfucker. <laughs> Then right. he got quiet. Then he was like, damn, I love my daughter. I didn't know she wanted to be gay. So yeah. until it hits home, people don't, hey, man, no. Right. I'm totally yeah, against that's that That's a better shit. way of saying it. That's, tell that shit is ignorance, though. That's of just, course it's ignorance. Because you fail to want to learn. And that exactly. bothers me the most is because why don't you listen? Why don't you want to learn about these people or these cultures or these Because they know situations? everything. Yeah. They don't, yeah. yeah. Their life is based off of everything has been given to them this is what life is i don't know what that other stuff is you know it's just it, it's the other stuff international it's, it's, trade oh, that's the other but, stuff yeah, yeah but I mean, but international i don't worry about that because i go to the local fucking piggly wiggly or no, goddamn I, I think farmers are smarter than that. i think if you're a farmer you know your market yeah. just because it's a commodity yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but but think about how he sold it he's saying that they're fucking us with trade so I have to hit them harder so y'all can be able to sell more. I think that's so they was like, bet that. There's different groups though. There's the business owners, there's mm. the masses, the workers, but the, the farmers, like, you know, farmers, they're keenly aware of the market. Just Sold to the earth. They, but they didn't like it though. So from the jump, from the campaign level, they didn't like that when he was talking. I'm just talking based off of Articles I read, podcasts I've heard, mm-hmm. interviews. Mm-hmm. Those farmers, they didn't like when he said trade wars. He was, they were like, no, that fucks with their bottom you line. Sure? And the because I think he really focused on China because he made China the great. So enemy. farmers are the last group to really go along with it. You know what I'm saying? Because China makes everything, and China has been bringing goods over yeah. here, competing with everything yeah. that we have. So he made them the big devil, like. and that's where he was saying war against them. And then when he get in, he was like, well, we're going to put trade against Germany and fucking France and fucking Canada. And you're like, are you Mm -hmm. kidding me? But they didn't realize that because I think he had this big devil, the straw man, you know, as they say. You got that straw man right there. That's the one you point to. 
It's a fake, fictitious, goddamn um, entity that's made up to get you to hate, to hate. But then when it went down, he's trying to say, "Let me do this." Yeah. See, that's that leeway that I don't, I don't feel like Obama had. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but he like was doing, doing some new, Obama. different shit. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, come on, man. I'm about to talk to these motherfuckers. So let's switch subjects to the Democrats. I still want to go back to the number two. I still want to see who's number two. So the problem with the fucking <laughs> Democrats is we got a lot of women that's running. And who's that 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 lady that beat the New York um, guy? Or oh, that's not, that's not a problem. Though. No, no, no. I said it is a problem because once a fresh face is on, they put in a lot of pressure to say she's going to be our leader. And I was like, no, she's not going to be your leader. She's just an outspoken person that's going to mm. help. Don't right. put something on her that she doesn't even have the experience, possibly. Possibly. You we know, desperate, though. We, we, we I desperate. know, though, man. We grasping like a <laughs> motherfucker, ain't we? And, and yeah. that's killing me. So we, we have potentials. And I'm telling you, this was, oh, man, it was earlier this year, around January. Remember we was talking about it? And, and chat, I mean, no, E, you said that. You said somebody's going to pop out of nowhere. Yeah. I said, no, it's not, man. And I said, it's going to be a woman. Nobody. Yeah, you Check the tape. Check the tape. Check the tape. I mean, you know, on that ass. I think at this but, point, uh, I don't think a celebrity is going to be that person. I think we're all like fatigued it. from yeah. the idea of celebrity or somebody not knowing what they're doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think he ruined that. I think Trump ruined that. Yeah. I think it was. I think it was hot during that time. And, you know, it made me really nervous. But to your point now, eh, I don't think so. I never really thought that was going to happen. I did. Thing. So I'm going to be. I'm going to be yeah. honest. It I remember. looked like that was going that route. <laughs> <laughs> you said, yeah, yeah. I tape. mean, it was. It was mainstream, <laughs> and then Oprah was jumping in, and then Kanye said some shit a while back before. You know, it was. Nah, it's yeah. just I think people are just kind of like, all right, can we get back to normal? Like that's mm-hmm. kind of where we want, and then it's, you know. Then we can get back to what we love. But right now it's just like this shit's crazy. So so let me ask then, what do you think um will the turning point really be the November elections? Because I think after the November elections, things is gonna say, here's where we are. Well it depends on one thing. Um two things. One, Robert Mueller, because that shit Okay. I think he's he's bullshitting and he's gonna drop that shit and like Yep. October twenty eighth, the October surprise. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna fuck with them on uh, that level. And number two, is he gonna be a new James Comey? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Yeah. And number two, he he, he's up. retired. He doesn't give a fuck. So number mm-hmm. two, um, oh. the trade war could help usher in, it could accelerate, uh, you know, market tensions and a downward spiral. So if Trump loses the economy, then he yeah. loses his, he, in his. Basically, why anyone would give him the benefit of the doubt, his supporters. Because if you look at him like, well, the key's good on the economy. So that goes in, why would they give a fuck? I don't know if that many people pay attention to that. I hear you. I do 100%. I just don't know if the average casual observer. For which part? Mueller pays or the economy? Not Mueller. I think Mueller, they pay more attention to that. The economy, yeah. nah, I don't think they. If, feel he, if jobs disappear. Then people will 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 listen. People don't care. They just want a job, and then that's it, and they're good. Yeah. And they don't pay. I attention. think at the pace where we at, it won't slow down by November. We we already getting into yeah. I should August, say that basically right. So right. November is what we're talking yeah, about. We're Elections talking November, 2020. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but we talking November. November. And the reason why I'm saying November is because that's when people are in place. There's a lot of things that needs to move forward at the beginning of the year. And if there's a turn in both House and Senate and with a whole lot of new faces, Mm -hmm. it's going to change a lot. New governors who said, fuck what Trump is saying. We're going to do this locally. So they're even going to go against the federal. And I like that, though, because I I like that. But be careful what you wish for, because if you put the wrong person in there and they're making their own rules, that goes against what we think is right, that's going to be a problem too. Mm-hmm. So you, it can go either way. <laughs> so I, that's why I'm just saying be prepared. But you made you made a point that I, I want to hurry up and get back to before I forget. And you said these 
these people came up and they're speaking out and like Mueller, Comey and them are speaking out because they retired. But did you hear that Trump is now saying, I'm going to take away all of these motherfuckers' yeah, security boy, clearance that's, that's criticizing that's bullshit. Yeah. yeah, that's bullshit. I think, he can do it, though. I, 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 it's it's tradition. It's tradition to give it to them. It's not required that they have uh, a secret clearance and access to secret documents or secret what you call it. It's 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 a courtesy because of the position they was in. He can actually fucking do that. So he's saying, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm pulling a security clearance. And you sh- you really can't do nothing about it. Yeah, I yeah. I guess I look at I like I really like James Comey because. I think on some level, because he pissed off both sides, mm-hmm. I I just I enjoy that. It's it's kind of like if 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 both people are are mad at the same person, mm-hmm. that same. I mean, it has to be some moderation on some level somewhere. So if yeah. both sides walk away unhappy, I rather that than one side is you know, is is no extreme. So mm-hmm. if you're willing to do that to him, then I just feel like that's more of a. You know, it's, it's symbolism. And it's it's I don't know. It's just it's a I don't want to I don't want to dismiss it as a non-story, but at the same time, it's just like you know, it's just a why is he that involved on that level? If, if other than just to fuck with people politically, but, but that's what he does. He actually does that. He actually yeah. fucks with people because he don't like how you talk to me. Just like he don't let the press in, um, who talks bad to him. Or if he does, he kind of limit them to be asking questions because he just doesn't like it. And in this case, they're being they're going around saying this guy is treasonous, treasonous, and mm-hmm. he doesn't like it. He's like, "How dare y'all call me treasonous? I'm the president, bitch!" Because that's what you're doing. And so now he feels that it's it's affecting him. So how do they get this information? Oh, they got secret clearance. Fuck that! Take them goddamn clearances. Well, but that's just not how the shit works. But it does. Like, if people, it's, again, we talk. No, about but what policy. I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if if people in your own White House are, but what I'm saying is, when shit happens, like you hear the reports, mm-hmm. it's not people from Obama or the quote unquote deep state. This motherfucker's in his own White House. Like, is for him to to blame them or whatever the case is. He, it doesn't make sense. Like people no, in your own White House are leaking. That remember no the whole leaker story a couple months ago? To anyone, he has no allegiance to anyone, no party, no person, no anyone. He has no allegiance to anyone. Even though you say in his party, the party grasped on to him because he's giving them what they want, and in turn making them look like they mm-hmm. fucking ridiculous. He has no allegiance but, to anyone. But what I'm saying is, in terms of criticism, people in his own White House, they leak stories and, you know, they talk shit all the time. Yeah, but he doesn't care. Because to him, they don't work for him. I mean, they work for him. He don't work for them. He doesn't fucking care. Because he only cares about what the, the, the what do you call them? The, his supporters, his... The voters. The voters think, yeah. If it doesn't, if it doesn't move any kind of needle, it, he don't, he don't just keep moving. He don't care. Well, I, I think it's fair to say if, if the reverse happened, he would, he would talk shit like, "Oh, the Obama people are revoking my clearances." You know, it was just, I guess I'm a little, I'm unfatigued by the another Trump, Trump is petty story, and, and maybe that speaks to me. I guess how. Maybe I'm normalizing or getting normalized to this extreme behavior because I look at it like, well, yep. okay, well, is the president of the United States compromised by Russia? Yep. Is he? Yes. Is he a liability? Yes. Is is, is 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 all these other things? You know, Georgia. If Georgia elects this other dude, then I'm like, well, I mean, we're stuck. We're not going to progress with green green energy or this. He's, nope. he's, He's a fucking he's he's running as a hillbilly, yep. you know what I'm saying? A gun running hillbilly. Yep. Yeah, literally. Yep. Who wants to round up, you know, Latins? Yep. I mean, we said, he said illegal criminals, but I mean, that's the really he's talking about. Let him run though, you know? Let him run off that racist bullshit. Let him do that. You know, find out what's in your state. 
Well, I guess I'm not. saying I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I'm just saying that's that's how it works. If you want a, like a state that has a bunch of people that want to round up a bunch of the Mexicans or whatever, and and they want all the black people in prison, and that's who's running, and then that motherfucker wins by like twenty percent, then you, you kind of have to look at your state. I'm not saying it's going to yeah. happen. I'm just simply saying, let that shit I guess, happen. But what I'm saying is, run, for man. that story, mm-hmm. right, right. Well, for that story, I was just like, uh, yeah. That's another. I think it's a wow, threat, though. Another, I think it's a threat. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I think it's threats. I don't think he's. I think doing. they know because if you do that, you're going to have to take it from a lot of other people. You can't be selective that way. No, let me take it back. I, I, I can't say can't because this dude does the stupidest shit. Because it can be done. Well, he's testing out those presidential shit. So it's kind of like, yeah, if, you know, if he slaps somebody, yeah, I pardon myself. Yep. <laughs> like, no one no one before him would do that. Mm-hmm. It's like, back in the day, you know, he'd be like, all right, here's what we're going to do. Like, Cheney. It's like, shit, he was fucked up, but like, hey, we're going to invade them. And then this company I used to work for, yeah, they're gonna make we're going to give them all the contracts. Yeah, we're going to give them it's like, Okay, that's how you made money. Yep. Or... You know, you you high is, yeah. you know, you be fucked up, but you do it in a obvious but mm-hmm. less fucked up way. You know, Trump is just like, God, I don't know. You know? <laughs> it's just like, do you blow, do your cocaine, but can you? He's just, you know, he's just like the guy who walks in the party high, you know, drunk, you know, f- throwing up. On the sh- on the carpet, you like who invited this like motherfucker? Cussing people out, falling over, yeah, it, fighting. Like- you know what I'm saying? Get this motherfucker just... out of here. But he's been doing it but you, since. But you can't get him out because he he's the promoter. <laughs> no, you can't get him out because it's his house. <laughs> it's, in, <yeah. laughs> it's his house it's now. House. When he walked yeah, in, like, oh, yeah, when he walked in, <laughs> he bought it. He bought everything. He, one that, yep, he, <laughs> he bought the bar. That's <laughs> why. He be like, like, damn he, man, he can drink as much as he wants. That's why. Yeah. Right, yeah. He's like, bro, you had enough. Like, no, no. give me more. Really? I, you know what I, I'm you like, get out of my house because I own this house and you can't. Yep, and I don't like drink. your ass. I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna tell you one more time. Say one more goddamn thing and you get it thrown out. And you're like, that's fucked up. Can he do that? Yeah, and everybody's then nobody say anything because they want to drink. And they keep yep. their ass out. And they, well, and yeah, they want to the stay. Republicans <laughs> are saying anything, and it's kinda like the bully. And the Democrats are nerds, and they're not gonna. Yeah, they want like the nerds are never. Mm. Yeah, they're not gonna drinking water. Like, this is high school shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Is... <laughs> they staying hydrated. They stay you know, like, yeah, somebody like, got the red the fucking... That's Bernie. Yeah. That's Bernie. <laughs> like it's the chess club versus the guy who would talk shit in the hallway, and mm-hmm. he get laughs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's, yeah. he's like the the bully fat kid versus the chess. Club. But again, y'all, we didn't answer the question. <laughs> who the fuck is number two? Who could, like, who could uh, be a realistic two? number two? Who could be for, for who? That's what we should be for, for the Democratic side. Yeah. So who could be number two? Yeah. Like cons- for consensus wise, um, who would you? I, want I think to that's. Be, you know, I say leadership because leadership. I think I think a lot of women would say Elizabeth Warren, and a lot of mm. far leaning liberals would say Bernie Sanders. Some people would say Joe Biden. Some people would say Eric Holder. Who says Eric Holder? Who the fuck saying Eric Holder beside Eric? <laughs> oh. Hold up! Everybody, yeah, him and uh, Valerie, whatever. him oh, and Valerie goodness. Jared. Nah, she's <laughs> going low key because they take her damn security clearance too and shit. But yeah, so these are the just the run of the mill people. It's it's. I don't know if the media is not covering them or are they trying to focus on legislation so the country would be fine, but. You're just not getting a lot from them. So I was I was saying that everybody is yeah. basically mainstream. All we all we have a lot of mainstream people that people are oh. used to. But it seems as though, let me repeat that. It seems as though either the media is not covering what they're doing or they they're really working with Man, legislation. Really you know what I'm saying? They work with legislation to help the country. Well, or I think go ahead. No, nah, I think the, the Democrats, mm-hmm. two things are happening. One, a lot of we saw a lot of women and new candidates have won over the last year, so the Democratic Party's changing. Two, I still don't think the Democratic Party has fully healed from Hillary versus no, Bernie, the whole fracture. Then you got people who really didn't fuck with both of them, more on Obama's side, 
and then uh, you have the actual national democratic That's leadership I- who idealistic motherfuckers who still with Obama. You got to let him go, man. You but I'm saying the, the national democrats, the the DNC, they're not doing what they're supposed to do. So, so from a messaging perspective, they really still haven't got the messaging other than, yeah. other than fuck Trump. Yeah. So remember the, but, the, the the lady from um, New York, she went against the Pelosi's and the Schumer's and all of them because they supported the mm-hmm. other guy. And she still won. So to, mm-hmm. to your point, Chaz, this is a changing of the guard of people saying, I'm just tired of these old people with the same old, old motherfuckers who yeah. don't know what's going and, on. Or if not, allowing shit to go on and be like, well, we should stand tall and, you know, just like in Selma, yeah. we... No, stop going there. This is a new I type of I will say fight. the Democrats are moving, moving farther than farther to the left. Yep. So in terms of moderation or just a moderate Democrat, that's going to be different. Like a moderate Democrat now is going to probably be Obama type person. Whereas in, in the past, it was more like a Hillary, almost like a soft Republican type person. Yeah. So now the standard is, of a, is that a, a moderate thing, is changing. That's the question. No, it's not a bad no. thing. It's, it's just more so in terms of understanding that and understanding the, the party and the electorate. Right. Uh, this the maps and will that be competitive in certain places? Maybe, maybe not. Right. I don't know. I mean, I would I would be all for um the the chick um I think her name uh, Alexandria I think or Alex the New York mm-hmm. Ortiz Cor- yeah Cortez. Ortiz or Alexandria yeah. Cortez yeah, I, yeah I'm all Which yeah I mean president? she's 28 though I, what's the isn't there a minimum age to be a president so. I think I think she can be, you know, like how Obama yeah. showed up and spoke at the the the, the oh, first one, right, and then right. catapulted her himself into the presidency yeah. the next time, and then built that resume. So yep. she, okay, yeah. so she'll be on the watch list. I don't think oh. she'll be immediate. I think she'll be on the yeah. next one because she got that real talk that people are really loving. I like it. I like kind of like I how think people we need a change. Like folks like Cardi B, she's just charismatic. That same kind of swag. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't like Cardi B. You don't like Cardi B, Mike? No, nah, I don't. I don't. I don't think she has anything that I can feel. Feel nothing. I don't know what. I people bet you feel. Cardi B run. She gonna win. Uh, she gonna run for a little cover seat. A uh, little state seat. Yeah, as long as she's not in the state of Georgia, I'm good, dude. And Mike. You like <laughs> Yeah, she was talking about taxes uh, a couple months ago. Everybody's like, yeah, Cardi B, go get them. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but J. Cole was talking about that and said you should have a tax no. app so you can pay your Guess taxes what, though? on your Bernie app. Sanders was like, uh, <laughs> Cardi B is right. That <laughs> 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 motherfucker made like a response video. Man, he just trying to win. He's trying to win in 2020 when he's 80, 80 years old. Yeah, he, he's trying to get back in. He's trying to find a way in, dude. <laughs> That's what he's doing. He's trying to find a way in. He's old ass. Uh, I don't know. (laughs) I just, I don't know, man. And and maybe it's bad too because we get to the point of, look, we grasping for who who can who can help us. Party, goddamn. Party B, she's a mom. What man? You know, she came from the hood. No, she's a stripper. Party B, man. (laughs) Not on an (laughs) asshole level, but she's an example of a of a solid state. State level representative, bro. No, you have it. Not her. National. No. You can have it. Right. Peanut have Gallery it. says national. What? Yeah, both like. Oh my god, oh, man! What's happening right now? Yeah, bro. You don't like man, Cardi B? Come on, man. She around your area. Turn over. New Jersey, New York. Damn. New Jersey, New York. Damn. 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 Nah. Yes. Really? Not in New York. Y'all in some old Cardi yeah. B shit? Really? All right, we're gonna say this for the next one because <laughs> y'all don't. I gotta come with facts. <laughs> I got to come with some Cardi B. You want her to lead motherfuckers yeah. to, to the free world? I mean, yeah, I know. I what know. What I'm saying right now? What, are we saying right now? what I'm saying is, she's a viable candidate. In terms of somebody who's going to... Hey, out of your, our standards, out of your our goddamn drop, mind. Bro. That's all I'm saying. That's all. I'm oh not saying she's a bad person. Really? I'm, just, I'm not even saying she's an idiot. I'm saying she knows her shit. I heard her interviews. I'm just saying, I don't want her for president. I don't want her. Leave. No, not president. No, about, I said like a, a, a state representative or maybe a house she, seat. She got to change. Her. What about Tiffany Haddish? You want uh, her to? Shoot, she might fuck around and win in Atlanta, though. 
but we don't need her because he can. Our we already got competitive black women already. Yes, but L.A. We do. <laughs> L.A. She might she might do something out there. A little state seat, state uh, representative. You know what? We should just wipe out and let all the women be in charge. <laughs> Let's try that. Let's fucking try that. I swear. <laughs> I just. I mean, with these old ass white men, dude, and then these 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 brothers is. I don't know. Yeah. Right? We need, we need a lie. different person. I, I don't think I'm on the Corey train. Me neither. Yeah, Corey or Me neither. The other, uh, Eric, I don't know. I, I want to see what he say. I like the Muslim guy. What's the Muslim guy? I don't know. From Minnesota, I think. I don't know. Um, I think I know. He, he he's been working. He's been working um, behind the scenes with some legislation and stuff. I think he don't like Obama. I, I think I forget the I forget his name. He's anti-Obama. Uh, not anti. He's just not. He's not on the. He's not on his side. Put it that way. Ab- Abdul Al As- As- Sayed. No, I don't think that. Yeah. Muslim congressman. That's right? what we're talking about. He's one of them. <laughs> type in, type well, in next Obama. Him, Obama. <laughs> just Google that. Uh-oh. Next that's Obama. Okay. That shit is Eric. That shit is all up on page one. As a, <laughs> oh, it's Ellison. Show up. That's a, it's Ellison. His name is I'm Ellison. Clear my history. Yeah. House of Representative Ellison became the first Muslim elected to U.S. Congress. Oh, yeah. he's in. Uh, I gotta look him up. Mm-hmm. Keith Ellison. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's been outspoken on a lot of good things. He been he been partnering with some legislation. Oh. Um, he's a good congressman. Yeah, he, he's he's not out there though. He's not yeah. the big outspoken guy. You know what I'm saying? But um, I never seen him before. He's out there. I got you. Never seen really? Yeah, I gotta look him up with the glasses on. I mean, I'm, I, let me not say that. I have probably seen him before, but then he probably disappeared for like six months, and then I saw him again. You know what I'm saying? It, uh, yeah, they don't they don't put him out there a lot. That's that's a that's a DNC yeah. problem. That's the problem. Yep, so. it is. And see. The DNC should be saying we we are so inclusive with different religions. It started off when he first got in, but especially with all of the Muslim things going on, I think they they're so afraid to not offend people that they're pushing them aside and not talking about his Muslim heritage or his Muslim uh, religious preference. Yeah, that's a good but, point. Yeah, see, that's uh, that's not even that's not even fair. Like, it isn't. It isn't. And see, and to me, you promote, you should be promoting people who look like you and know about your culture and everything else. Right. Yeah. We had two hours. <laughs> so, nah, so, yeah, we, we hit so many points, man. So many points. Um, but I would definitely like to see where we're going to be headed after these other tapes come out from Cohen. Because right. I think that's that's really, really important. And I mean, we just got to wait until Obama show up and see if he's going to have another speech. Uh, we can't wait on Obama. No, yeah. that's not the right approach. You know what? I'm going to make a speech. Fuck it. I'm going to just show up one day. Uh-oh. I'm going to do a press conference. Where? <laughs> I'm going to do, uh, do a press shit. conference. Where? Be like... <laughs> Shit is fucked up, and here's why. <laughs> and you yeah. know it, yeah. And I mean, all y'all fucking know it. Now about that, and they gonna say, and they gonna say, who are you? And then I'm gonna be like, shut the say, fuck I'm up. I'm not on my fucking chat. Shut the fuck up. I'm, a, I'm fucking I'm chat. My, I'm gonna have my nerve gun. Anybody, <laughs> anybody <laughs> try me, getting the nerve gun to the face, straight up. Boom. <laughs> and then, um, then the Atlanta police is gonna <laughs> shoot you down. Yeah. <laughs> And then they're gonna say you got an outstanding warrant against disrupting the uh, public, <laughs> disrupting the public, whatever. <laughs> and and a rolling stop sign, three charges, <laughs> just for being out there. You know what? I'm gonna do another nope. press conference. Nope. I'm gonna do another press conference. You see how I try to assassinate my character? You see how they do? Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be gangster, man. You'll be gangster. You know, I'm gonna my little electric <laughs> car. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna be like <laughs> saving the environment. Join yeah. me. Join think, me, my Yes, buddy. exactly. I think I think people will go for that. Yeah. 
You don't know. All right, we'll, 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 we'll wait. All on. the farmers, we'll they're going to be right behind. Yeah, we're the farmers of Oakland. <laughs> Fuck them tariffs. Boom. The motherfuckers with their tariffs. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thanks, ladies. Thanks, fellas. We really appreciate it. Repo, rethink politics. We see you on Mondays. Yes, Mondays. We really appreciate it, guys. Any last words? I'm, I'm waiting for the next ball to drop. Something's going to happen. Yeah, just... Oh, it's definitely going to happen. You know, definitely. No more. But we just got. We just don't know what. No more predictions. We. I we mean, just go off on that right. Let's... Oh, we supposed to. What? What happened oh, to the positive? Right. Thing? Oh, yeah, that's right. I yeah. mean, shit. Okay, silver yeah. lining. More women are winning in elections. Stay up. Keep going. Stay up, everybody. <laughs> Vote. You know, wow. Be positive. <laughs> go to go to work. Get money. Go to work. <laughs> Oh, all right. Put so your, put your money in Atlanta. Your pillow and your mattress. <laughs> so in, the, in Atlanta, yeah. in uh, Fulton in County, a lot of black men did vote. So that's good news right there. That's good. So yeah. the ones that weren't in jail. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. higher than white Republican males. So the turnout mm-hmm. rate was pretty good in the city. Good. And women doubled well, that good, rate as that's well. That's a good sign. So women are, I think women are definitely like, wow, this is not good. That's a positive. I like to hear that as mm-hmm. often as I can. You got anything, E? Yeah, I, I mean, we should be trying to find out who these uh these candidates are, and we need to learn who that number two is. Because right now, I don't I have no idea. Like I, you know, we should be trying to learn. Like I didn't know about Keith Ellison and some of these candidates that probably are they they match exactly what I want, you know, out of a president or the next twenty twenty candidates so I just watched you know, I don't know if it's a positive oh, yeah. but I mean we should at least be proactive on what that uh yeah who's and have those kind of discussions because um yeah. it'll be great to reach out and say hey thank you so much I'll send him an email in in his office and say well, what are you doing we looking for a number two candidate coming up yeah because I love to send an email to them and just see what kind of response come back, even if it's not from him. Yeah, it'll be from the office. Hey, like yeah, hey, can you show up on MSNBC, please? Can you can you yeah. pop on yeah. some popular podcast? You know what's up? Like you know, like, yep. Let's go. Just let me know because I would like to know where you stand. Because yeah. if you moving up in um, the Democratic Party, I would like to support you, but I really like to hear where you stand. Exactly. How about that, buddy? Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, Corey, I- I'm not feeling that dude though. <laughs> Really You're not alone, and I'm in Jersey, so. Yeah. And you're in Jersey, right? <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you're not alone, man. Hey. <laughs> yep, yep. So thanks so much, guys. We appreciate you stopping by. Repo. See you next time. Peace.